back to another Let's Roll Play of Dragon Age 2. I'm Marion Hawk, currently in my state. I'm about to head out, and I uh, just came back to my state. What's going on? I have the wrong armor on. Yeah, I put the wrong armor away. Um, I currently have, yeah, Arms of the Champion. Uh, I just wanted to put it on to see how it looked. There's a few uh, runes that I have gave to my companions as well. Let's put it, the Arms of the Champion in there. We we'll use the Arms of McTur. It is better than the Arms of the Champion. Although the Arms of the Champion goes with my red gloves that I have. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to go naked. Um, <laughs> run around in my boots and gloves and my undies. Doesn't matter, I can put it on as soon as I get out. Okay, so where are we going? Um... No, actually, I cannot run outside like this. It would be an embarrassment. Let's put that back on. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, we are heading out to help uh, Isabella. So we need to go to Hightown at night. We didn't check all throughout Hightown at night. There could be more of those, whoever they were, those... Um, well, they weren't guards. They were some kind of brigands of some type. Okay, so, I think we went up there, and that was as far as we went. We can continue going this way. They always like to come out at night, and here they are. I think I see a mage right there. Where, where'd it go? There it is. Take the mage down first. It's a woman. Mages will destroy you. And they keep coming. They're called Blood Ragers. I don't know what they're here for, but obviously they're trying to take over the High Town area at night. Hopefully, if we kill enough of them, we'll get. Uh, Information on where their home base is, and we'll be able to go and finish them off for good. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming out and attacking people. All set. Yeah, I do not trust Anders in this at Greetings, all. Greetings, champion. He has screwed me over several times in the past, and this is too big of a thing to trust him with. I am not trusting him with... I'm not helping him. It actually makes me a little bit ups quite upset that he's would lie to me about what he's doing. It can't be something good. And I, obviously Sister Nightingale thinks that um, Grand Cleric Althena, her life is in jeopardy. The Blooming Rose. Let's go out there. And maybe she has good reason. I hope, I guess I'll pray to Andraste, or to the Maker's Forgiveness for helping Anders for what he's done. But I'll tell you this, that I will have no part in it and I hope that he is not going to do anything really bad. But he's misguided and I just don't trust him. Um, what are we here for again? Oh, uh, we're here to help. No rest for the wicked. Bring Isabella to Velasco. He spends his nights at the Blooming Rose. We're trying to find out where is, um, the guy who wants Isabella dead, because she owes a debt to. Um, trying to find out where he is, and Velasco is his right-hand man. <laughs> That's his room over there. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. <laughs> Stick with it, no matter what I do. Are we really doing this? <laughs> Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. Maybe I should have come naked. <laughs> I'll make it convincing. Not to worry. Uh, now you're making me nervous. <laughs> Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. 
I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Let's go. I'll wait outside the room. Good luck. You're misguided too, but at least you're not out trying to purposely harm people. Oh, it's this room here. With the nasty statues, one of which I have at my home estate. Oh, he's already occupied. Well, let's give him Isabella. <gasps> what? Get back here, you... Skittish bitch. Or I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I have a present for Castillon. Present for... What? I just want you out of the way. I thought I could trust you. Shut up. Oh. I've waited a long time to do that. <laughs> I'd love to finish the job, but Castillon will never forgive me. Castillon will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. <laughs> just drag her by her feet. They just dragged Isabella out of here. We should follow. Of course. Uh, glad they allow me to drag gather my party. Um, Varric, we could use your help. And I haven't grouped with him in a while, so... Well, just one season. Let's, uh... Well, let's take his strength up. Let's bring him up to 20. He does so much damage, he always gets attacked. Okay, where were we going? I think we were in the scoundrel tree. Um, the rogue distracts all members, all enemies surrounding a single party member, drawing them away from that ally and redirecting them towards whichever ally each considers the second greatest threat on the battlefield. Okay. Interesting. I'm not even sure what to do with that one. Uh, how about ally? Hmm. Health. Maybe 25% and below. And, uh, usability. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You jumped to tactic. I didn't know that you could do that. That's like more programming. Use current condition for next tactic. Skip tactics. This was de not in Dragon Age Origins. These or deactivate mode is always activate mode. Um, okay, so I don't even know. I'd have to think about how to use that to use things like jump to tactic because you can set different um, parameters to, for tactics to be used. So usability, it's arm assist. Yeah, it's the one where he redirects people. So if one of us is really low in health, he will redirect them to somebody who is the biggest, the enemy sees as the biggest threat. And let me just click on him, make sure it was Armistice. 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 <laughs> okay, it was that. Okay, now we need to go find Isabella. Where has she been taken? If an encounter is too challenging, turn down the difficulty setting in the options menu. That hasn't happened, actually. Isabella's trail. This is Isabella's trail. Because it smells like her? I, I, she's leaving breadcrumbs? I, I just know it's her trail. Okay. Are they working for Castia? No, these are more of those blood rage idiots. Oh, the mage. We are doing something, you idiots. You're preventing us from doing something important. I think for Dragon Age Inquisition, I'm going to choose a mage. Uh, Red Run Streets. Directions to the Crimson Weaver's base. 
Blood will be our salvation in this new home. Hightown is ours, beginning in the lair. Know it and know you belong. The Bleeder. <laughs> That's the, their leader's lame name. The Bleeder. Yeah, I'd like to... I, I really appreciate the changes they made to mages. I didn't find them very fun to play in Dragon Age Origins. But in this game, Dragon Age 2, I think they're a lot of fun. They're a blast from my experience playing as uh, Bethany and especially during the uh, Mark of the Assassin DLC. More Blood Ridges, they're everywhere. Well, we're gonna have to come back and take out their headquarters, but we're a little bit busy. We're trying to follow Isabella. Keep getting sidetracked from you idiots. Bianca, you mix. That was beautiful! end up down here. Oh, they had a mage up here. I didn't even know it. I was looking for a mage. I didn't see any. Uh, Varric and Meryl took care of that mage. If there's any loot, there's a couple. Oh, there's one. Well, I guess this way. We're leaving. Yeah, their, their headquarters is here. Suspicious House, Red Run Streets, um, the Lancé Mansion on the loose. So that's hunting the ap ap apostate mages for Nightmare Meredith. Uh, okay, so obviously not Lowtown. Yeah, here it is. Lowtown, where the trail leads us. When you level up, don't forget to spend both your attribute and ability points. It's hard not to do that. Okay, we haven't been uh, to Lowtown at night, so we might run into another gang that will try to stop us. Lowtown and, and it's probably the first place they start up these criminal scum. Not in the hangman, is she? Really? Everything always goes back to the hangman. Let's go inside. Varric, you haven't seen <laughs> the uh, or heard of about the man she's talking about Castillo we got sidetracked on those guards so we weren't able to keep up Is with there them a story behind Bianca there's a story behind everything Daisy so tell me I can't why not <sighs> there was a girl and I made a promise Bianca is the only story I can never tell you can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. Oh, oh, see, I know exactly what happens. He kills the girl that invents it, the woman, the dwarven woman. Um, they were lovers for years, but she betrayed him. I actually have a great big comic, a Dark Horse comic, a combination. It's not a comic, it's a, a thick book with all the comics that they put out for Dragon Age. I read through it. It's actually um, it's pretty interesting. I'm not really a comic person, though I do appreciate um, comics on things that I'm interested in. But uh, yeah, it's a great big book. Like, it's huge. It's so big, it's bigger than any of my other fantasy books or anything like that. Um, but yeah, he did kill the woman that invented it because she, uh, I don't know, she endangered him and betrayed him. So uh, it was really hard. That's why he doesn't want to talk about it because uh, he loved. That was his only love of his life, actually. Kind of sad. Someone in the back rooms wants to see you, love. Seemed a bit insistent. Sorry, the louts over there need more ale. Back room waiting for us? Are they. Okay. Cricket? It's not that you're the greatest fighter, Cricket, but you do help. Have you seen anybody? What are you looking at? You. Mr. Talkative Man, where are they in here? Oh. The barmaid sent me. What do Templars want with me? Orc, your speech against First Enchanter Orsino was stirring. 
We hope you can aid us more directly. Does this have anything to do with Isabella? I think that maybe not. You seem capable enough of capturing apostates and blood mages. A lone apostate or blood mage is of little consequence. But a group of them have become organized. And many wretches in the city lend them a hand. The commoners are merely misguided, Sir Metin. Regardless, these mages are proving difficult to track down. Depending on what you need, I could be of assistance. This hive of blood mages and their supporters know us. If we get close to them, they'll scatter like cockroaches. But you could take them unawares. Sir Metin, we cannot dally. If the blood mages see us with Hawk... Here are the details. Eliminate these threats to Kirkwall. We'll send any future communications by letter. As long as they're generally bad, I'm not just going to go indiscriminately kill mages. But if they are blood mages... I don't think that that's so terrible a thing. Um, what? There's there's nothing in here to lead us to Isabella. I think we took a wrong turn. Let's head out. It's a little disappointing. The trail that I saw ended right right in front of the hangman. Okay, we're gonna have to go snooping about it then. Kirkwall has been ruled by a Viscount since the Orlesian Empire installed one as its governor in 760 Storm. That was uh, 170 years ago. Oh, okay, I did not see that. Because I looked both left and right and I didn't see it. Okay, so. But we picked up a new job inside. She, so she's that way. How many slaves died in these foundries, I wonder? You don't want to know. Oh, another Canary sword. Good. I don't want to know. It's Kirkwall's past is horrific. Um, okay, so it's not this way. It goes the other way. We're coming, Isabella. Well, this is... Maybe I have to actually walk on each one to activate the next one. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. That's why. Is she out of here? Looks like she is. We're leaving Low Town. Isabella's leading me to the docks. The docks. Okay. So I hope that she'll be okay. And unharmed by the time we find her. Might have been more realistic uh, if we had taken her weapons from her. Oh, uh, I don't think this has anything to do with Isabella, but uh, some slaver group. Cricket. That was fun. This is where the Canary used to be. Seems to be uh, kind of boarded up now. Six foot board put up. Oh my gosh, that wasn't here before. I cannot read uh, <laughs> the language. It's gibberish. That's pretty cool though. What would that be honoring? I mean... Oh, it would be honoring me. Sorry, yeah, I mean, I had no idea that it was even here, guys. Um, yeah, it's the air shock's head. <laughs> that represents the champion, which represents, which is me, so. Yes, I'm honored to have a statue put in place. Like, I didn't, they should have actually mentioned that in the notes.
Is it in here? Trail leads to here. Okay. Let's take the indir indirect route. Where's the trap? I can't even. Watch your step. Oh, let's turn this off, shall we? Nice. There's a bunch of crates around here. 17 gold in that one crate. I have so much money, I don't even know what to do with all of it. It's kind of stupid. 225 gold. Oh, I can't get out this way. Hey, come with us, Cricket. Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillon to go easy on you. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the bitch was up to something! Kill them! Maybe we should have waited for Castion to show up first before presenting ourselves like this. Seems odd. Hey, where's this fire coming from? It's pretty annoying, actually. This guy was step, or that woman was stepping on it. Ouch. Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. Okay. Barrack will just take a stroll out of here. The paring knife. It's not bad, but my or my weapons are better. Office key. 36 silver. Some copper. Snack. A sack. Fancy poison ring inside there. Yeah, this is what was starting the fire. The archer was standing on it. Cricket, get out of there! Little private dock. Okay, so... Uh, what's in this door? It's a chest. Incriminating documents. So, Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Why am I not surprised? The city guard will find these documents very interesting. Well, matter of Velasco told me you were all tied up. A oh. lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship, and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? <laughs> he trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. Really? Why can't you surprise me in a normal way? With flowers, maybe, or a cake? I see I wasn't the only one played today. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. 
Give me the document. Okay. I could decide to kill him, but I'm going to follow. She's probably making another mistake, but it's her mistake to make. It's her de her decision. You've made your decision, Isabella. Do as you wish. The ship is yours. Let me say, my dear, that you would make a remarkable ally for any man able to tame you. <laughs> Our business is hereby concluded. Forever. Be well, Isabella. He didn't deserve to walk free. He'll get what's coming to him someday. Doesn't need to be at my hand. How does it feel to have finally gotten the ship of your dreams? Better than three greased up sailors. <laughs> I really should haul anchor first thing tomorrow morning, but... I don't know. I've taken a shine to Kirkwall. And some of the people in it. I might stick around. Come on. Such a funny girl. Don't know what... Why did she leave the group? Okay. Well, uh, let's just bring Varric along with us. <laughs> I think there's a few things to loot around here. I mean, if they have like 17 gold in the, the that, should... that room, obviously. 56 silver there. Ambrosia, what's that? Okay, uh, Felicia, Feliciatus Ari, Aria, commonly known as the Silent Plains Rose, is to this day the only plant found growing on the Silent Plains, which were tainted by the blight a thousand years ago. As mentioned in the section on rare flowering plants, Felicia's Aria is not technically a rose, though its flowers do exude, exude a sweet rose-like scent. The flower is rare and is in no danger of becoming extinct because of its value in the creation of ambrosia, which is distilled from the roots of the plant. Dozens of these plants go into the making of just one vial. Some say that the wives of the most powerful Deventer ma magisters once used ambrosia to perfume their baths in a vulgar display of wealth. An excerpt from the Botanical Compendium by Inus Arancia, botanist. Uh, okay. I don't really know how that helped me or why that was there in that chest. It's a little odd. But let's get out of here. Cricket's hanging out over here. Come on, girl. Let's go. Time to go. Can't go in that door. I don't know if there's a uh, crate or a chest down this way. Nope. It's empty. Okay, you guys are in my way. Okay, time to leave. So the, uh, the video needs to end here, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.